Hey guys, Shershot Midget here doing a video, a really quick video on my GMP WOC nozzle. Now, I just got this nozzle. Um, I hope that this nozzle will work because it's really it's chipped on this one side because when I was racking it, it would hit the chamber wall and chip. Um, and it chipped to the point where um, um, now it won't chip at all because it doesn't contact it enough because it's already chipped it away. But I hope that this will feed. J I just ordered a mag tonight for uh, my GMP, so if it works, it works. If it doesn't, I'll probably put this old nozzle in there that is straight, but it's like really short because I had to cut it off, but ma I made it straight. So if this doesn't work, then I'm just going to buy, save up 40 bucks and buy a whole new uh, King Arms bolt and nozzle set that's on evike um but to take this apart you just pop this off and then you have to remove that c-clip which i did not have uh in there because i just found my spring on the floor for the uh for the nozzle not this spring um then you want to take out this pin right here which was so so hard to take out for me to get in and out you like you have no idea how how hard it was for me to get it in and out um so Go ahead and find something tiny to pop it out with. Um, it'll be hard to get out. It was insanely hard for me to get out. <sighs> get some pliers. There we go. That wasn't too bad. I've done it two or three times. I think this is the third time. So, wasn't too bad can't lose any of these pieces remember um just take this out and then this part hang on all right so then you take this part out and then you there's this uh the valve in there and everything you have to pop that out with something as you can see this is my homemade spring on here and it's not very good um let me go ahead and just... <sighs> oh, that's on there. This is going to be hard to take off because this was my crappy uh, spring that I had on here that I just had to cut to size to basically fit. Got it off, thank you. Get that off, and then wherever my spring is right here, put it on there, just like that. Get this nozzle. This When I got this nozzle, it was just the shell. I'll show you the packaging. I got it off Amazon, but it came through a Chinese retailer, and it's plastic nozzle shell, whereas I asked a gas gun expert, and he thought that... Um, it was the whole part. It you know he just thought it wasn't pictured, and I asked him. I said, "The rest of it's not pictured. Do you think that it comes with it?" And he said, "Yeah, it's probably just not pictured." And I was like, "Okay," but I guess you know it's not right. So he apologized for it though. So yeah. Then you have to put all that system back in there. Let me. Um, you put that uh, spring around the valve. Let me go ahead and take it out. Shoot. <sighs> Hate this freaking thing right here. Get that all out. All right, let me go back over that. So you take this, you put this around it, you drop it down into the nozzle, and then you take this cut version and put it down, down into there, and then you put this on it, just like that, and it meets up, and then you put your pin back in, which w the first time was literally impossible to get in. Um, it's still really hard to get in, in. Especially in. Yeah, that thing does not want to budge. 
So let me just get some pliers. You know what? You just have to get something hard. Sorry, guys. This is ridiculous, though, so... <sighs> Literally, I'm pushing as hard as I can, and it's just not going down. And I think it's because last time I put it through the other side, the other side's the best to put it through. Yeah. That's stupid. I should remember now this is going to take a long time to get this out. This, sh logically, there we go. That should pull it out. I mean, you're yanking as hard as you can. You're grabbing onto something. Ow! Shoot. Ow. Alright, so don't put, don't push it in with your, uh, with your fingernail because you are going to, that's going to slip underneath your, uh, fingernail and freaking hurt. That's happened at least five times with this thing. There we go. See, with this side, it's a lot easier. So pick one side. Start drilling it in. Drill it in. Drill it in. Make sure you put it back in and take it out the same side. There we go. Now it's all the way in. There you go. Now you drop it into your bolt. Put this C-clip on. And you also, or not the C-clip, the nozzle guide. But you also want to put the C-clip on, but I am not going to. This nozzle clip is stupid. It, like, doesn't. Alright, there we go. Got that back together. Now, what's wrong with mine, for some reason, when you pull this out, it doesn't literally doesn't spring back and forth. It's so hard. It should be easy to push in and out. So even if the C-clip was to hold the spring back, see? I'm holding it back. It doesn't. So I'm not going to even mess with that C-clip. It's just a waste of time. And then you want to grab your lube. Put some lube back on that side. Put it back into your gun. And then on my gun, I lube the side of the receiver, the other side. Put some on there, put it together. We're all set. Thanks for watching, guys. That's just simply how to do that. I just ordered a King Arms 50 round mag. I'm not going to put 50 rounds in it because... The, the main point for tactical like rifles is to be realistic, so I'm only going to put 30. Thanks for watching.